Hey, this is Chris with Dreaded Musician 2012. This is Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. Sorry, Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii. Okay, so... I have good news and I have bad news. Good news is, we... I have two videos left of whatever I need to add commentary in, and then I will be able to do live commentary for the rest of the way. However, the bad news is, I upgraded my computer, my laptop, to Windows 8. I think it was like a semester or two ago. And since then, I have not uh, reinstalled my capture card, uh, my video capture card, uh, to be able to do any more videos. Because <clears throat> I hadn't had the time to, and I wouldn't know if. I would be able to um, do anything like have it on there anyway because I have Windows 8 now on my laptop. However, the bad news is I, for some reason, the installation CD broke, which means I won't be able to get the catch call on the laptop, which means it'll be a really, really, really long time until. I'll maybe get some more Super Mario Galaxy 2 or anything from a video game console that uses audio video cables. So it'll be a really long time until I can save up some money for an actual video capture card, maybe an HD, perhaps. But yeah. So, but. Hope is not lost, however, because I have a lap. I have a. I am running through a laptop right now. Like, what I'm doing coming to hear stuff is through a laptop. Now, for some of you who are gamers and know how to get around with the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy Advance, and that sort of thing, there's this thing called emulators. So, since I've already been talking about my next game being a Game Boy Advance game, I can just go ahead and have it, uh, I can just go ahead and start a Game Boy Advance game through an emulator, and hopefully all goes well with that. So, all hope is not lost, and that's pretty much it for what's going on and whatever. Alright, I think this is Upside Dizzy Galaxy, or, I can't remember, and if you guys seen, like, a pipe in the, like, trail, that seemed impossible to get to, you have to jump into that, there's, like, a bunch of boxes covering a pipe, you get the firefighter, bust that open, and you end up here, and pretty much you have to destroy all the boxes within the time limit, and then come back. Upside Dizzy Galaxy. Yep, I was right. <clears throat> now, we got that out of the way. Tonight is Labor Day, September, September the 1st, 2014. So, classes started for us last week uh, on the 26th, and on the 25th was work training day, but more importantly, classes started last week. Um, convocations were already started since last, uh, last week, which was a cultural, um, convocation. So much uh, a thing called Ballet Magnificat or something. Anyway, um, it's a bunch of ballet dancers, uh, tell telling a story about, uh, two sisters who went through the Holocaust. Or who were going through the Holocaust. It was a pretty, it was pretty, it's pretty amazing, uh, story here, right there. Uh, I was kind of glad I went to that one. Not because I was trying to get, not only, be, not because I was trying to get that out of the way. Hunting the Howling Tower. Okay. We're in Boom Moon Galaxy, hunting the tower, I guess. 
Now, just a fair warning, uh, there will be a skip through this, like, whole part here because it took me probably 10 minutes to find the warp pipe to get to wherever I needed to go or where, whatever I was looking for in here. It took me, like, 10, 15 minutes to find, so I will be skipping ahead here pretty soon. But yeah, uh, in this one you will, I can't remember if it was the first time or second, I think it was the first time you get to see, it's the boo suit, or ghost suit, I can't remember the name of it, you'll see it in a few minutes, in the description. But anyway, uh, first time encountering that, you'll get to, I think you turn it invisible so you can like go through certain objects, and pretty much all you can do is float and um, turn invisible. Yes, I did try the left hand on the maze thing. I think, I think what happened was, see what happened was, one of the doors opened, but I wasn't paying quite much attention. I think it was that door right there, like I just passed that door. Whenever I did, uh, whenever I was playing it. <clears throat> and it took me ten minutes to actually find it again. Um, I think to uh, loss of lives. But anyway, yeah, didn't have time to show that. Like I never even beat that, so the little small mini game thing. I always ran out of time, and plus those pesky Goombas were leaving flames all over the place, and it was making me mad. It making me mad, eh? Oh, there's the pipe that I was looking for. Oh, wow. Yeah, that shows you how much I hate Boom Moon Galaxy. And at first, I thought I had like, as far as videos left to do, I thought I had like one more than this, but I may have lost the video, either that or I just was imagining things. I probably was just imagining things. But I know I have, physically I have two more videos to uh, do. They're already ready, I just gotta record over, well, this one and the last one, just record over them. That's the beginning there. I think, yeah, that's the beginning. So, false, false semesters kicked off here. Which means pretty soon we have Mudfest, which is pretty much a giant tug of war tournament for females and males. Except it's females versus females, males versus males. It's determined by dorm. Like, uh, males, like, males dorms can face other males dorms. There's also, like, more, like, more than one team per dorm sometimes. So, uh, a group of men face a group of men. Same with females. Alright, now to get to where we actually move on. Mofest is about to, uh, Mofest is going on. I forgot when that, when that was. Sadie Hawkins dance is sometime, I think it's sometime in October. Sometime whenever the season actually kicks off, like the fall season kicks off. I just missed the name of that suit, did I? Oh well. You guys will see it over and over. You can just rewind it or whatever, because this will already be on YouTube. But yeah, I am taking a total of eight classes. Five of them are which are music classes, but three of those music classes are ensembles. So it's pretty much, e I think it may be an easy semester, but as far as content in some of the classes, it may be a bit difficult. I'm taking. Uh, Christian Worldview 2 data structure because I'm a computer science major and that's the only class I could take at the moment or else I would take more. Um, Auro training 2 which is uh, ear training if you guys don't know what Auro means. Uh, music Theory 2, Jasmine Pep Band, Jazz Combo, and Calculus 2. I think I'm missing one. No, I think I got all in my classes. Alright, 
So, the enemies here are pretty pesky. I lost a couple of lives in this area because the enemies are like so pesky, especially like the spike. Uh, those things that are crawling on the walls. Like sometimes they like to group together, so you have to like wait a moment. Especially those things, they don't. Like they'll like quickly like try to attack you if you try to pass them, especially in this part. Yes, this part. That kind of annoyed me a little bit. I think this is like the very close to the last uh, bit of this map. I can't remember. Like I edited this, edited this video for like a while. Not really a while, like a while ago, probably like three days ago. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. I recorded the videos and supposedly done commentary on them. Uh, like this past January, and then because of classes and whatnot, I haven't even thought about like uh, uploading videos and whatever and in the middle of doing all that during the break I think spring break or something I can't remember but I realized I had crappy like audio as far as my voice was so I had to record over most of you already know the story but um, for those of you who are just tuning in that's pretty much what's going on So I think we hit like one or two more galaxies. So I pretty much got all the power ups here, I think. The funny thing is, I didn't see I didn't see the ice flower. Like I remember Super Mario Galaxy. Uh there's there's the fire flower. Not fire. Yeah, there's the fire flower and then there's the ice flower. And I remember that with the ice flower, like this the power up theme was the same as the fire flyer except it's kind of the notes that were played are kind of were kind of in a minor scale and not a major and not a major scale like fire flyer was played in major scale and like a pretty much a major chord and the ice fire thing was in the minor like minor scale all right selling the sandy seas at slip sand galaxy just, just, you know, just so you know, that uh, that bird part, the sand bird part of it, reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine. Whenever uh, the Sand Phoenix or something, I can't remember what it's called, but whenever the bird, that huge sand bird was born, um, you had to go in there and collect, like, go in the egg and collect like the eight red coins, coins with it. It was kind of a bit. It was it was somewhat kind of a bit difficult because uh, like the bird didn't like disappear after hitting things. It was like that the phoenix kept like turning. The phoenix kept turning. It was hard to actually stay on because sometimes you would like fall off and then lose everything, which got really frustrating from time to time. Alright, so this puzzle, pretty much if you're walking like around the curve and the gravity changes in the process, uh, like you can, see, you, can see, you can see that there, like the arrows are like changing directions and that's meaning uh, grab, like the force of the gravity, except I kind of made a mistake there. Because as you guys see, I need to make it to the red colored pipe. If you fall off, you have to take the green pipe back. Because there's no way you're getting back on there. So I think I know what, what game I want to do next after this next video. I think I want to just go ahead and start on uh, Sonic Battle. It's kind of a easier one for me because I played through it once, like played through the storyline, so I'm sure I'll probably be able to play through all of it. Like, all the stories and the last story and everything. 
Whoops. Oh, well, it's just a ringtone. I mean, what? <laughs> What's it gonna harm? At least I've, all, I've, all, I've already, like, played through the game. Like, played through this part. Because usually, like, I would get a message. And, like, I would, like, stop what I'm doing <laughs> and text. Which is probably not a good idea to text while you're doing game commentary. Which is kind of hilarious. So you, so you see what I mean here? Feel so what it feels like the Sandvert level in Super Mario Sunshine from the Nintendo GameCube. I think it was in Gelato Beach. Yeah, it was Gelato Beach that had the level. I freaking hate Magic Koopas. They always think they have something to prove. Too many of them. Get away from here. So at least you're not in the air and it's not like turning around. You just gotta make sure that you just stay on the sand bird. It's also easier to collect star bits because you're collecting those. Uh, excuse me, you're collecting those with the Wii Remote anyway. I thought I just saw a star just now. Oh, the, <laughs> the golden chain chop. I think that's gold. No, this is a platinum, I guess. Pretty much. Just walk, it's it's just the obstacle course as opposed to a uh, level in Gelato Beach and Super Mario uh, Sunshine. So that is the last level of this video, and I played as Luigi as you can see here. So Mario and Luigi are gonna say their goodbyes, but while they do that, I'm gonna say my goodbye to you guys. Thank you for watching Super Mario Galaxy 2. I am Chris. If you liked this video, uh, click like. If you really like the video, please consider subscribe. subscribing. You'll be notified whenever the next video comes out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.